Hi there. My name is Frank and I'm the owner of Aurora Bear Photography. We are a photo school north of Fairbanks, Alaska, and we offer photography classes for wildlife and aurora photography. My wife and I are originally from Germany and we came to Alaska because of its untouched wild and beautiful nature and to share our passion for Alaska and for photography with guests from all around the world. We were both raised in Germany with core values which are based on humanistic morale and ethics. Decency, integrity, honesty, helpfulness were virtues which we grew up with. Tolerance of others and of their diversity was and is one main value of these. We were also raised in the full awareness of our history, the history of our families who suffered miserably in World War II, and the history of our country, which failed in the most terrible way possible just some 80 years ago. This awareness about the atrocities which were committed by our home country, our government and our people created a great feeling of responsibility in us. A responsibility not for the crimes our ancestors committed, but a responsibility that we have to do everything that something like this will never ever happen again. And this responsibility sets an absolutely non-negotiable limit to our tolerance when it comes to any form of racism or supremacy. We try our best to live by these values and this responsibility every day in our private life but also in our life as business owners. And that's what I want to be very clear about today. When you are a Nazi you are not welcome. When you are a racist, you are not welcome. When you are a supremacist, you are not welcome. When the sentence, I am not a racist, I am not a supremacist, I am not a Nazi, but belongs to your vocabulary, you are not welcome. When you support institutions, groups or persons who are Nazis, racist or supremacist, let's face it, then you are one of them and you are not welcome. When you show off symbols or flags of suppressors, supremacists, racists or Nazis, you are one of them and you are not welcome. When you judge people by their gender, race, religion or sexual orientation, you are not welcome. You are not welcome. You are not welcome on our tours. You are not welcome in our house. You are not welcome in our lives. You are not even welcome on our social media world. You are not welcome. It fills me with incredible anger and great sadness that we live in times where I feel the necessity to put out a message like this. But I have seen it in the history of my home country. What can happen when we are not talking about the things happening around us? When we accept quietly the evil around us? When we do not speak out against it? When we do not make our point? When we stay silent in the face of evil? As Kofi Annan, the former Secretary General of the United Nations said on the 60th anniversary of the liberation on the Nazi concentration camp Auschwitz, all that evil needs to triumph is the silence of the majority. I will not be silent. We will not be silent. Please, when you share our values, don't be silent. Don't let evil triumph. Speak out against it. Let's stand our ground for all of us, for the world the better place to be. Don't be silent.